Can you smell that? That crisp scent in the air, a distant promise of a chilly autumn breeze. For those of us living in Texas, very distant. Spirit Halloweens are once again reclaiming the gutted corpses of abandoned businesses, and Nightmare Before Christmas merchandise is being advertised even more aggressively than usual. That's right, it's October, baby! <laughs> I take Halloween as seriously as the heart attack likely to be my cause of death by my mid-40s after a lifetime of questionable decisions, and I love it so much I celebrate it all year round, but I become especially obnoxious during October. Here on the Funky Frog Bait channel, I have spooky videos planned out for the entire month, but when it comes to churning out endless amounts of Halloween related content every single year, no channel does it quite like five minute crafts. <laughs> So I can only assume that they're the experts, and today they will be our guides as we learn some spooktacular Halloween hacks. Why do I do this to myself? Damn, that baby has seen some things. That baby put their hours in at the local daycare. I th they deserve a comfortable retirement. All right, let's get our stuff. Okay, editor, make that look cool. <laughs> That's really cute. How about you go f yourself? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, sorry, my paternal instincts just took over. Don't worry, we'll donate these clothes to a baby doll in need. I've... All right, Priscilla, it's time for your lobotomy. You know what, I never wanted to be a mom, but being a dad seems pretty fun. All you have to do is sometimes remember their names and forget to pick them up from soccer practice. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Yeah. You want to keep it? Oh, that's going to make a big mess. That's not, that's a no-go. Oh, that just slides in like butter, don't it? Things you don't want to hear your surgeon say on the operating table. <sighs> Ma'am, hold still. I have an idea to make this, because they just made a dotted line. I, I'm going to screw that up. I, I for sure am going to screw that up. So I'm thinking what we do instead is we put a rubber band around the head. Sometimes my genius is almost frightening. Putting that engineering degree to good use. No, mom and dad, I, I definitely did not go into $27,000 of debt uh, uh, for no reason. POV, it's 1945 and your wife just overcooked your steak for the last time. POV, it's 1945 and your wife just told you she feels emotionally unfulfilled in your marriage. POV, it's 1945 and your wife. <laughs> now, now, don't be hysterical, dear. This is a nearly painless procedure. For me, anyways. Oh, magnificent. Me, when I'm going to a location two and a half minutes from my house and I'm forced to navigate without Google Maps. Me, when someone asks me a basic question about myself. Me, after my boss assigns me a task that I'm fully qualified to do. All right, now we gotta hot glue it to the plate. I have not been allowed around a glue gun since the incident. This is, a, this is necessary because the glue's not coming out correctly. Don't, don't rehost this out of context, please. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah! No, wait, no, wait, it's not centered. It will bother me if it's not centered. You're telling me you wouldn't feel right at home when you walk into someone's living room and they have this on display? Oh yeah. Now to the garage. Welcome to my garage. The place where I put all the stuff I don't know what to do with. Hi. I'm too close. Oh no, I've painted myself. Do you think I'll pass the class? And now we play the waiting game. All right, so we set our little baby head monstrosity out on the balcony for about six hours. Is it done drying? No. I got this at the Dollar Tree. So I'm thinking we just, well, that's a bit tall. Come on now. The caveman method usually works in my experience. Okay, perfect. And now just to hide the horrors within, good thing I have 
decorative moss that I impulsively bought three months ago. Ta-da! Oh my god, that's so hacky and lame. That doesn't, that doesn't uh, look anything like any of the other decor I have in here. But before we continue with uh, whatever this is, I'd like to take a second to talk about today's sponsor, Aura. I've been using Aura for about three months now, and let me tell you, that moment when you realize how much of your private information is just out there on the internet is pretty shocking and disturbing. The people that collect all this private information about you are called data brokers, and the secret is they have to take your information down if you ask them to. So of course, they make it as difficult and frustrating as possible. I let Aura do the hard work of tracking down my information and removing it from these sites, and you can try Aura for two weeks free if you use the link in my description, aura.com slash funkyfrog. With Aura, you don't don't have to manage multiple apps to get parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and many other security services. It's really easy to set up and you get everything in one place at one affordable price. You can continue to let yourself get exploited online or you can go to Aura.com slash Funky Frog to start your free two-week trial today. Thanks Aura. <laughs> You know, new studies suggest that the average person consumes about a credit card's worth of microplastics every week. Why not save time and just get it all done in one go? Efficiency. I got these gloves used, so let's see what new diseases we discover. Oh, That's so disgusting. Well, I'm glad you're happy to see me. Oh yeah, my favorite texture. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, get a good look at that. Oh yeah. All right, sir, if you would uh, kindly turn around so we can begin your prostate exam. All right, I pulled y'all in for the close up. If there's one thing y'all should know about me, it's that I just love playing with soft meat. <sighs> Okay, and I think we just put it in there. That's what he said. Yeah. Why the hell am I doing this on a Thursday afternoon? This was a mistake. And by mistake, I mean my internet career in general, not just this one specific thing. I, I, I'm at peace with having to detox my entire countertop after this video. Oh, this is like if Frankenstein went to culinary school and did not graduate. This gives a whole new meaning to sausage fingers. Yeah, there's just gonna be air bubbles. We're just gonna have to be at peace with that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna have to leave that to the Lord to figure out. Jesus is my co-pilot. He is also my sous chef. Just a little German boy at the sausage factory. Oh my God, see sausages are so big. <laughs> oh, it's so cold and wet. <laughs> oh babe, you're so cold and wet. <laughs> Oh, babe, your texture makes me want to barf. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. This is the true horror hiding underneath the glove of the Hamburger Helper mascot. If you were the type of kid who complained about eating Hamburger Helper, just know that you did contribute to your parents' divorce. There was financial stress going on that you probably did not quite comprehend, but you are complicit regardless. I can't. I can't. There's air bubbles. This thing is queefing at me. It's queefing in distress. I am distressed by this scenario in general right now. All right, now we just try it off like a, the most cursed balloon at the county fair. And now we're gonna put our boy in the freezer. Goodbye, boy. All right, so our handy dandy meatloaf has been sitting in the freezer for a bit, and now it's time to take him out and wrap him up. How are we supposed to get this out of the club? <laughs> no! What are we doing? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Okay. We got a little boss me in the bathroom. Oh, it's the forbidden meat popsicle. God, why? Okay. And now we're gonna put bacon on it. Now the nice thing about turkey bacon is you can eat it raw. I think. I don't think, I don't think this is gonna work. I think this is a mistake. There's no way I'm gonna be able to wrap this around. 
Uh, what 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 witchcraft did they perform this Hallow's Eve to to freaking? Oh my gosh! You know it's probably because it's turkey bacon, man. It's probably because it's turkey bacon. Ah, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> this is um kind of ridiculous. Not to mention the fact that we did not season the meat whatsoever, uh, at all. All right, we're gonna stick this in the oven, but first, <gasps> oh that didn't work. There we go. Voila, so beautiful. I love it. I love it. Well, guess what, guys? We got the two for one meatloaf and soup special. Look at that. Now, the real question is is the inside? completely and utterly raw. We're gonna start with a finger. Unseasoned ground meat. Delicious. It's as disgusting as you would expect it to be. Why am I even doing this? We know this is gonna be gross. We know that I'm gonna suffer. That's why you're here. That's why you're here, you sick I mean, look at, look at this. Look at, what, what, look at this. It's gray meat swimming in soup with a ketchup splooge on it. I don't even think the middle is all the way cooked. You wanna find out together? Actually, I can't tell, I can't tell. Is that raw? Am I gonna get sick and die? Okay, the ketchup does help a little bit. What in the fresh mick hell? So I could not, for the life of me, find just regular ass yellow gloves. Everybody's gotta be, everybody's gotta be a boss babe, even when you're scrubbing crap out of the toilet, apparently. Oh my god, they're like freaking gauntlets. Now, I don't have any stuffing, but what I do have is a can-do attitude in an ungodly amount of plastic bags that I have stashed underneath my kitchen sink. We're just gonna make do, baby. <laughs> Recycle, reuse, renew. That's what I like to do. All right, our chicken feet appear to be properly stuffed. We're gonna put on the shoe now. And now it looks like we're supposed to cut it on two parts here. See, the problem is it's too tight. That's gonna hold for sure like a Band-Aid on Hoover Dam. That looks right, right? That looks, that looks okay. Oh wait, hold on, you have a, you have an eyelash on your cheek there. Make a wish. Let's see, hope, hopefully number two goes a little better than last time. Which is what I say to myself every time I pull through Taco Bell. You know, I think it might be better to just not cut it, actually. I'm looking at this and I feel like it might just be better to just leave it be. Can I even put these on? Oh yeah. Hello, Mr. Thompson, I'm here to pick up your daughter. The ladies can't handle it when I pull up in them old McDonald's. This shit is so foul, literally. Now, statistically speaking, at least one person watching this right now is into feet purely for academic purposes. Is this doing anything for you? How could you, why is it wet? Why is it wet? So they said just throw an unspecified amount of gelatin and juice in a bowl. What is this, science class? We're gonna use jello. Wow, look at all the pretty colors. All right, we're gonna use the Jiggler's recipe on the side because I think that's like the stiffer version. We're gonna try to fit as many worms in here as possible. Whoa. Nice. This says it serves 24 people. They haven't met me. Oh, it smells so Ha ha, period joke, insert period joke here. Ha ha, very funny. Me, me on third day of my period, ha ha. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of do a double handed thing here. No, it's, it's okay, everything's okay. All right, come along with me to witness the disaster. This must be how the people of Pompeii felt. Okay. Are they melting? I am so scared. Explain to me how this is gonna work. Five minute crafts. I feel like I've missed a critical step at some point here. Ooh, that's strong. Hold on, I gotta like, it's gonna go everywhere. I gotta like trans. Oh, I just scalded my tongue. Oh. All right, we're done, we're done, we're done. God!
on! All right, we're just gonna put that right next to the reasons why I'll be hungover this weekend. So while we are waiting for our little jiggly worms to solidify in the refrigerator, we're going to prepare the dirt for them to wriggle around in. Mega stuffed, God, I wish that were me. Who, Who said, said that? that? Slowly reducing the cream to cookie ratio over the course of several years and then convincing customers to pay more for the same amount of cream that used to be in Oreos has to be one of the biggest scams ever pulled. Okay, maybe besides NFT. And then they have the audacity to sell Oreo thins, baby. I'm buying a family pack of Oreos for myself. Thin went out the window a long time ago, okay? We're just gonna, this is stupid. Why am I doing this? I have an idea. Oh my God, it's giving potting soil. Yes! Bring out the worms. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, she's not coming out. Me circa 2015. Okay, okay. I think we may have screwed up. Is the Jello too firm? Him. You just bloop it out. <laughs> what the hell? It's all goopy and weird, but it's fun. That works. POV, you're my girlfriend. Oh. POV, you're my girlfriend and you just became a worm? Wait, no. Mm, got you a big old slimy one. Mmm. I know, I know, everybody and their grandma has already done this already, but I, I've always wanted to try it. I bought a combined 600 square feet of cling wrap because I, I didn't know how much I would need. I guess you could say that what's actually scary is my lack of fiscal responsibility. All right, let's get started on, I'm gonna do my left arm first. So it looks like they just start wrapping. I'm like a little plastic mummy. Is it like illegal for cling wrap to actually stick to what you want it to stick to? Where, where does it begin? It's a snake eating its own tail. No true beginning, no true, oh, there it is. I was under the impression this tape was transparent. I was wrong. So now we're just gonna cut along the back, I think. All right, let's see if I can wiggle out. Ugh. Okay, it seems I have overestimated my abilities. What? The hell did I do wrong? All right, next arm. Seriously, how do the folks at Five Minute Crafts do this? All right, now for the torso. Is this what you came to see? <sighs> this is a workout, man. Then we're gonna do a wrap around. Wrap around. Don't look. That looks about right. Taper on, like so. <laughs> Got bored. Made a hat. All right, now we're gonna do the head very carefully because we do not want to restrict our airflow here. My window's open. Oh my God, there's a, there's a person. Oh no, wait, I don't know if I should hide. Please don't call the police. I know this is a weird use of my free time, but it's technically not illegal. I'm about to give myself an accidental haircut. Ugh. Okay. <sighs> now we just need legs. <laughs> Look at this absolute unit. Her name's Nearly Necklace Nicole. It's eight o'clock at night. It's my bedtime. It's my bedtime right now. Just look at the lovely couple. They can get up to all kinds of lesbian activities beyond the grave. A better love life than most of us can hope for, and they're dead. Well, I think we all learned an important lesson today, that with enough creativity and cling wrap, you can make some really shitty Halloween stuff that you'll immediately dump in the trash on November 1st. But I think that's what's so awesome about Halloween. You don't really have to have a lot of money to celebrate it. If you're a kid, you can just throw a sheet over your head and then panhandle at the neighbor's houses for Hershey bars. And if you're an adult, just buy a bunch of cheap alcohol and throw up some cobwebs. Okay, the cobwebs are optional. Please don't do anything I did in this video at home, not because it's dangerous, but because it sucks. If, if you do it at home though, please tell me all about it in the comment section. All right, bye bye So uh, what are you guys doing later?